With Turkey braced for parliamentary elections on June 7, Turkish opposition parties have been highly critical of the ruling Justice and Development Parties, AK Party, foreign policy in neighboring Syria, saying the government's obsession with removing Syrian President Bashar al-Assad from power and the perception of a Turkey that appears to be helping extremists to that end have been costly for the country. The main opposition Republican People's Party, CHP, as is stated in its party program, supports a foreign policy of maintaining peace at home and abroad as the founder of modern Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, suggested, in contrast to the AK party's proactive foreign policy in the region. Turkish foreign policy under the AK party zero problems with neighbors, as described by the architect of Turkish foreign policy, Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu has often been mocked in international circles due to Turkey's deteriorating relationships with a number of its regional neighbors. The AK party has been accused of turning a blind eye to foreign fighters crossing into Syria via Turkey to join the terrorist Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, ISIL. Turkey denies those allegations and asks for more intelligence help from European countries. Since the civil war broke out in Syria in 2011, Turkey has been supporting the removal of the Assad regime from power. But this policy has not been met with other countries' support, until recently. A recent Associated Press report suggested that Turkey and Saudi Arabia have converged on an aggressive new strategy to bring down Assad, adding that the deal is provoking concern in the US, which does not want rebel groups, including the Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Nusra Front, uniting to topple Assad. The report followed a claim by an opposition deputy, Gurzal Tekin of the CHP, that Turkey plans to send ground troops to Syria within days. Tekin said he obtained the critical information from a reliable source, assumed to be in the military, about plans for intervention in Syria. Tekin claimed that the ruling party is worried about the decline in support before the general election in Turkey and could drag Turkey into a quagmire in Syria to postpone the election in order to prolong its political career. Tekin's claims were immediately dismissed by Davutoglu. He ruled out any incursion into Syria. A week later, Davutoglu went into Syria to visit the tomb of Suleiman Sa the grandfather of the founder of the Ottoman Empire. The tomb was relocated in February by the Turkish military to the safer Syrian town of Ashm after threats by ISIL militants. CHP Adana Deputy Farouk Lulu, a veteran diplomat, criticized the Prime Minister for entering Syria with the Turkish military. On his personal Twitter account, Lulu described the Prime Minister's entry into Syria as bullying and unlawful. He said, this is not something for the Prime Minister of the Turkish Republic to do. Relocation of the tomb has also caused a debate in Turkey, with many in the opposition saying that it's not patriotic to give up the only Turkish territory which was not attached to the mainland and arbitrarily choosing another location in Syria. The leader of the opposition nationalist movement party, MHP, Devlet Bosley, questioned the patriotism of Chief of General Staff Gen. Nikdet Azal due to the relocation of the tomb. Ozil later made a statement saying that Bosley has no right to question his sense of the homeland, nation, and flag as he served in the Turkish army for 46 years. What does homeland mean to you? Bosley asked during a parliamentary group speech in February, referring to Ozil, as he criticized the Turkish authorities over the relocation of the tomb. The operation was hailed as a military success by the government. Pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party HDP, CO Chair Selahattin Demirdas also criticized the military operation to abandon Turkey's only exclave, and called on the AK party government to cooperate with regional actors, particularly the Kurds. With this operation we see once again that the government's Syria policy has been wrong from the start, Demirdas told reporters, adding that the HDP has time and again warned that ISIL is and will continue to be a threat to Turkey. HDP officials have been critical of the AK party government, saying that Turkey had yet to exhibit a clear stance against ISIL. Demirdas previously stated that if Turkey really wants to fight against ISIL, it will need to work with actors such as the Democratic Union Party, PYD. The PYD is the Syrian offshoot of the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, 
and received support from the U.S. when fighting against ISIL last year in the town of Kobani, in northern Syria. President Erdogan criticized the U.S., saying the PYD is a terrorist organization, just like the PKK, even though the PYD is not listed as a terrorist group under U.S. law. The PKK is classified as a terrorist organization by Turkey, the U.S. and the EU. Demirda said the PYD is not Turkey's enemy, but ISIL is and Turkey needs to better re-evaluate its friends and foes. Economic Costs of Syria Policies The CHP is critical of the AK party's policies in the region due to economic losses. The CHP recently released a 72-page report evaluating the cost of the situation in Syria and Iraq for Turkey. The report suggested that the two conflicts have cost Turkey more than $16 billion in the past four years in refugee costs, import, export, and tourism revenue losses. The report accused President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of having led to economic fallout in Turkey by pursuing what it called wrong policies. The CHP report, prepared by a group of 24 CHP lawmakers after visiting a number of border cities, including Gaziantep, Anlurfa, Mardin and Antakya, suggested that if the AK party government had pursued a peace policy, Turkey's financial losses stemming from the conflicts in Syria and Iraq could have been reduced. According to both the CHP and the MHP, Turkey has no clear policy on Syria, other than being obsessed with the removal of Assad. Speaking to today's Zaman, MHP Antalya Deputy Mehmet Gunal pointed out that Turkey has had a positive relationship with Syria and that Assad was once called a brother by President Erdogan, noting that the two countries are almost on the verge of war now. International relations have not been shaped according to the leaders love slash hate feelings for each other. And the mutual interests of countries cannot be sacrificed for personal ambitions, said Gunal. He also criticized Turkey's policy of helping Syrian opposition groups in order to topple Assad, saying that some of the groups Turkey helped have gotten out of control and Turkey has been perceived as a country that has ties with terrorist organizations. Gunal said that under MHP rule, Turkey would have an honorable policy based on mutual interests of both Turkey and Syria. Speaking to today's Zaman on Tuesday, Liberal Democrat Party, LDP, Leader Semtokur said the AK Party's Syria policy is aggressive and expansionist. He said the AK Party and its aggressive policies have dragged the country into conflict and ignored Turkey's interests. Tokur said the government's foreign policy in the region in general is wrong and not based on mutual respect among neighbors. CHP Sanok Deputy Engine Altai also told today's Zaman that the AK Party's wrong policies have created a perception of a Turkey that imports terrorism into Syria. They have followed a wrong path in relations with Syria and dragged Turkey into a quagmire in the Middle East. They have played a role in the current terrible situation in Syria by taking sides and interfering in a country's internal matters, Altai said. Millions of refugees came to Turkey from a Syria that the Turkish government dragged into an internal conflict. The government then failed to provide humane conditions for those millions of people and is now sabotaging Turkey's peace. The government has no clear refugee policy either, Altai added.